Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to show you how to put together the pedestrian crossing project board for the exhibit. Now first up you want to check that you've got everything in the box so you've got the PCB, you've got two 10 pin headers, one 4 pin header, two 10mm green LEDs, two 10mm red LEDs, one 10mm yellow LED and a 3mm yellow LED, a buzzer, a 6mm tactile switch, a 0.1 UF capacitor and 600 ohm resistors. Now I've pre-bent these just to make it a bit quicker putting it into the board. Now you'll also need an iron, a soldering iron. We use the um, Hakko FX D, which you can find on our store. You'll also need solder and a set of snips for cutting off the legs once you're done. And of course you'll need a, an exhibit board to use it with and a micro bit to program. Now, on the PCB you'll see here you've got the silk screen and it shows you the this would be the red man and the green man for the pedestrian crossing. This is the wait button, so there'll be an LED here and the switch, so you press that and what you want to be able to do is to program it to tell the traffic lights to go from green to amber to red and for the pedestrian crossing to say you're allowed to cross and the buzzer to beep when it's safe to do so. And you'll see here you've got the, the red man is pin 12, green man pin 8, the weight LED is pin 13, the red light here on the on the traffic light is pin 16, the amber is pin 1 and the green is pin 2. You've got the button is pin 5 so you can also use button A on the micro bit because that's just the same, the same pin and the buzzer is pin 0. Now the only thing that won't work in block editor is the amber LED um, because that uses pin 13 which isn't available but if you're going to use touch develop or micro python then it's fine um, and in fact the example code that we'll show you later on is written in micro python so let's get started shall we now what you want to do is you want to put on the lowest profile components first so if I move these LEDs out of the way that out of the way, that out of the way, those. Now, the lowest profile components are the resistors. Now, you put a resistor in each of these. You can see the silk screen is a shape of a resistor. So you put a resistor into each footprint here for the resistors. Now these are current limiting resistors for the LEDs. But you don't want to blow your LEDs, so very important. So we just slide those in like that, and then in here, there you go, and then into here, and then the last one, oh, if I can get off the desk, we'll just go into here. Now, we turn this over, there we go. Now, what you want to do is pull the legs out slightly so they stand a bit firmer against the PCB. So it makes it a little bit easier to solder. And then get your iron and your solder. And you want to tin it and then simply solder it up like that. Okay, once they're all soldered on, you need to snip the legs off. So you get your snips nice and close and then one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's all these pins off. Now you want to move these off your desk because you don't want to have little sharp bits of metal lying about. So next up, it will be the capacitor. That's the next lowest profile component, and that goes here where it says 0.1 UF. That's the value of this cap. And once that's in, again, turn your board over and then solder it up 
just like that one there and one there. And then not to snip and snip. There we go. Now the next lowest profile is the six mil tactile switch. So you see you've got the two legs on one side and two legs on the other. So you want to have it going in that way, just like that. And then we can probably do the LED, the three mil one at the same time. Now you see there's a short pin and a long pin, and there's a plus sign just here. You want the long pin of or the long leg, sorry, of the LED to go next to the plus. And if you turn it over, you can solder them up. One leg done, and then leg two, and then we'll do this switch. So one, two, and turn around. One. One, two. And snip those off, and away they go. Now next up, it'll be this buzzer. Now you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, you've got a, you can let the camera focus perhaps, maybe not. There's a plus sign there, so that means this pin is a positive, and you'll see on the silk screen for the buzzer it's got a negative. So what you want to do is make sure the positive is going to the opposite pin to the one that's marked up as negative, turn it over, and solder that up nicely, just like that, and then like that too. There you go, so that's that. And then it's the LEDs, so we put R, G, R, Y, G, so that's yellow or amber. Um, so we get a green, again, long pin or leg to the plus. So we'll put that in there like that. This one's red, so long leg to the positive again, like that. And you got the yellow or amber, again, long leg to positive. Green, long leg to positive. And red, you want the long leg to go to the positive again. Like that, and now it's a little bit tricky, turn it over. There we go, that's those all turned over nicely. Now, if I bend one of the legs down on that, and we'll solder up, and we'll come back to it once it's done. Okay, so that's these all soldered up now. So you just snip off the legs once again. So that's all the components. Now we need to solder on the male pins. Now to do that, the easiest way is to get your exhibit board, which is here, I'll just zoom out a little. Um, out of the way, there we go. And you want to take your headers and the 10 pins you want to place like that into the board and the four pin one up there. Then you take your pedestrian crossing project board and just place it over the pins so that holds it nice and straight so it's nice and easy to solder up and make sure that you get the pins straight so again I'll just uh, zoom in a little there we go and then tin my iron and then there we go and then solder away just like this And we'll come back to this once it's done. Okay, that's the board all soldered up now. So you've got all the headers soldered in. So it's now making a good connection, hopefully, to the exhibit board if I've done it right. So if we switch on the exhibit, we can see that you've got the red pedestrian crossing lit 
and the green traffic crossing, uh, green traffic light lit, so basically you can't cross here. So if I press the button, you see the wait light comes on and it will wait for five seconds. Then the amber light comes on, it beeps, pedestrian green man comes on and traffic red comes on. And then it'll flash, go to amber and red and then green. And you can't press the button again for another 30 seconds so that you, you can't stop traffic. So that shows it all working. You'll be able to see the example code in MicroPython on the website. So thanks for watching. Bye.